Hello everyone. Uh, I am Sir Zubair Ahmed and I have been teaching maths last more than 15 years. And uh, so my special domain is, is mathematics. And uh, if today today I am going to explain few selected questions from the mock test that is upcoming mock test you know the date is January 21st 2024 and we I am going to select few questions from cycle number two and math specialization so let's start the video my first question is we want to simplify 4 a raised to the power minus 1 b power 3 is divided by a power 4 times b power minus 2 and this fraction is multiplying with 3a upon b. So to simplify this given expression, a fractional expression, first of all we need to make the negative index a positive index, right? So to make this negative index a positive index, we can shift this particular base to the denominator we know that we have already a power 4 in the denominator and when we shift this a power minus 1 to the denominator it becomes plus 1 and once I shift this negative index to the numerator that will multiply and its index, negative index becomes the positive index. And then we will copy down the second fraction. After doing this, we will multiply coefficient with the coefficient. So 3 times 4 is equal to 12. B power 3, B power 2. We know that when we have same basis, we can add the powers. So b power 3, b power 4 becomes b power 5 and a power 4 with a power 1 the same rule of the indices same basis power will add so we will add them 4 plus 1 is 5 and I will keep this b with the denominator then I will do some simplification so I can cancel out this a with a raised to the power 5, so we left with a power 4 in the denominator and when we cancel out this b with this b power 5, so we left with b power 4 on the numerator. So our final answer is 12 b power 4 is divided by a power 4. Okay, let's move to the question number 2. Let me repeat this. I have selected few questions that are very similar to each other to create, you know, a consistency between the questions. And uh, so in this question, we have the square root of 27 and the square root of 108. So we need to find the sum. Sum means add. So first of all, we will find out all the factors of 27. So that 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. And we know this is a square root. So we can make one pair and it will comes out. So the simplest form of the root 27 is 3 root 3. Then we do the same thing. We will factorize it. And we can use the prime factorization process to find out all the factors. So 2 times 5 is 10 and 4, 2 times 27, 3 times 9, 3 times 3 and 3 times 1. So this is how you can find out all the prime factors of any number. So if you write down all these prime factors into radical form, so this will be 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 3. So this pair, this pair, so one pair comes out the square root, the second pair comes out the square root and it will remain under the square root. So this is equal to 
6 times root 3 and finally we have to add both of them so I will add 3 root 3 where 6 root 3 so we know that we have the same radical forms so we just need to add both of them so 3 plus 6 is 9 and square root and this is our final answer of question number 2 now I am going to solve question number 3 uh, ok uh, before solving the next question uh, I want to share one thing that will definitely help you out that if you want any help if you want to discuss any your query any question so feel free to contact me because my email address and my contact uh, is already given in the description box and uh, and if you want you know uh, live sessions with me uh, like one to one sessions or a group sessions so feel free to contact and uh, definitely uh, the live sessions will uh, like on, on, a, on a very you know uh, affordable uh, charges and on, on very convenient like on the convenient basis so I think we should move to the to the question so in question number three we need to evaluate this particular given expression when a is equal to 4 right so this question is also related to the same topic that is uh, that is indices because we have the same concepts that we apply in the indices so we know that that any base having a power 0 is equal to 1 so 3 times 1 and then we know that a is has a having a power that is 1 upon 2 so let me clear one thing like if you are having like index in the form of 1 upon 2 it is equal to the square root if the index is 1 upon 3 this is equal to the cube root if the index is 1 upon 4 this is equal to the root 4 and you can keep the same sequence ok so if we know that a is equal to 4 so we need to substitute the same value over here and I can apply the square root over here and then I know that when I want to change this negative index into a positive index so I can shift this a raised to the power minus 2 into the denominator to make it positive and after doing this we know that the value of a is 4 so we have 4 power 2 I substitute I then I done two things at a time I make it positive and I substitute the value of a we know that this is 3 times 1 the square root of 4 is 2 and that is 8 divided by 16 that is 8 times 1, 8 times 2 then we have 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 and 1 over 2 that is 0 0.5 and our final answer is 5.5 because this is 3 plus 2 5 and 0.5 is 5.5 in this question number 4 we are going to express this given expression as a signal fraction in its simplest form so now we have to change the denominators into a single denominator and the denominators must be same we know that we have x over here this is 2x and this is 4 so when I multiply this by x this denominator by 2 and this denominator by 4 so we can make the equivalent fraction we can make the denominator same so this is 3 times 4 is 12 5 times 2 is 10 u minus u multiplied by x is ux and is divided by the same denominator that is 4x that is 4x and that is 4x so we have to copy down the same denominator as a single fraction so thank you so much and uh, I am going to upload more videos in a very short time period I know that you have a very limited time and you have and you want to 
you know, prepare yourself in a uh, in a very short time period. So I am going to upload more videos and I will solve more questions very soon. Thank you so much.